I almost don't believe it when he says he passed the breaker's challenge. The dynasty to the families of the city, all reunited. Think the gods are gonna help? Garmouth. to the musket, you gotta get rid of the recoil. Now we're looking at some serious firepower. The marshals would have been downright jealous. Ever see a kid with a musket and a fire bellows? Bit of a disturbing sight. Third time's a charm, right? Wrong. Ever tell you how the kid got himself wrapped up in this mess to begin with? Say he's led a hard life. Supposing what he says in his sleep ain't no lie. Mama 
his hair did the kid no favors while he was growing up, but he learned to hold his own out there. School ain't working out, so the kid signs up for a turn on the rippling walls. Make his mama some money. Thanks to folks like the kid, the walls kept Ceylonia safe from whatever's out there. The elements, the earth, you name it. Once the kid done his time, he hurried on home. Turns out his mama's time was done too. money he'd been sending home was nowhere to be found either. Kid do why he went right on back to the walls for another five years. In the history of Ceylandia. Nobody has ever volunteered for a second shift on the walls. How there, a kid learned to fend for himself, learned to build. Learn to break. In time, the kid earned good standing with the marshals. They trusted him to scout out farther than anybody. The ground beneath them shuddered, cracked, and split apart. He saw nothing where the world used to be. The calamity happened. Just like that. All the kid had. 
had to work with was his hammer and the clothes on his back. Through twisted streets, he ran with nothing but the city crest and an old stranger's voice to guide him. Zelandia's vaunted safe haven. He and no one else. Thankless work from a man who ain't even asked his name. Dreamt up the walls and the bastion, but the kid made him real, not me. I'd like to say I'll never forget him, or what he's doing, what he's done. I surely would. Something I've been fixing up in my spare time. Think I 
got their own security and everything. Pretty fancy, even. Still, they ain't used to having visitors around. They've got these conductors that are all what's keeping the place together. Break enough of those things and the calamity rocks slink back into the ground. are like tumors, the same kind they are implanted in the bastion. Well, the Ura must be in a panic right about now. Turns their greeting tenfold.
homeland's not much farther. Opportunity for civilized discourse is over. <laughs> Suppose old Zolf should have got to know us better. Tazzle terminals loom large on the horizon. 
All those dreams, snuffed out in the calamity, will bring them back. Way out there on the edge of the world, that's where he finally finds you. But it ain't like Prosper Bluff this time. Ain't nothing for this gal to sing about now. Zia, you weren't kidnapped. No, ma'am. You just had to see what happened to the Ura. To your own people. You had to see if everything Zolfro to you was true. <laughs>